Warning, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers are advised this video may contain images of deceased persons and places of cultural significance. We would also like to pay respects and acknowledge the past and present traditional owners of the land of the wet tropics biocultural region and respect their culture, identity and traditional knowledge which has been handed down and carried on for many generations. Hey uncle, can you share the story of our collective journey in natural resource management and world heritage in the wet tropics? Ah, well pay attention nephew, I got the perfect journey we can take. Which way? My name is Alison and I'm a Mullumbutty Yidinji woman from the Goldsboro Valley and Gordon Vale region. I'm here today to take you on a journey, a journey towards self-determination and the rights and interests of rainforest Aboriginal people in the wet tropics of Queensland World Heritage Area. On the 29th of April 2005, a historical agreement was made between the rainforest Aboriginal people and the Queensland and Australian governments. Representatives of the Wet Tropics Management Authority, the Environment Protection Agency, Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service and the Department of Natural Resources and Mines, together with the Australian Department of Environment and Heritage, joined 35 rainforest Aboriginal people and elders to sign the Wet Tropics of Queensland Regional Agreement. A total of 163 recommendations were put to the government that formed these negotiations. This agreement is to make sure rainforest Aboriginal people are involved in the management of the Wet Tropics World Heritage Area of Queensland. It shows that our Australian and Queensland Government acknowledge rainforest Aboriginal peoples' aspirations, cultural values, spiritual connections and obligations to the land and waters of the Wet Tropics area. More than a thousand rainforest bummer and invited guests celebrated this achievement and a special moment was when the 18 rainforest tribal groups came together as one to perform a traditional dance. That was a very special moment. The rainforest ceremony of Fighting Shield is the central artwork to the agreement. It symbolises rainforest Aboriginal people as one voice. The outside artwork is made up of tribal totems that represent each tribal group's cultural identity and their spiritual connection to their country within the wet tropics. Unfortunately, not everything in the agreement happened. So in 2017, the traditional owner leadership group, also known as the TOLG, was established to lead the refresh of the regional agreement and to support all rainforest bummer on this journey. On the same day of the agreement in 2005, the bummer plan was launched. This happened after the regional agreement signing on Memu Country. The Bummer Plan was put together by traditional owners with support from the Rainforest Cooperative Research Centre, FNQ NRM Limited, and many people in state government and Commonwealth government agencies. This plan highlights the natural and cultural resource management issues and aspirations that traditional owners have for country and culture. There are 34 strategies that equated to 108 actions associated with the Bummer Plan. Gatherings have always occurred with our Rainforest Bummer, they are great days of sharing wisdom and aspirations for caring for country. Included in the 2005 Regional Agreement is a commitment made by all signing parties to collaborate and organise the annual region workshops of rainforest Aboriginal people and includes the Aboriginal Rainforest Council, the Wet Tropics Management Authority, the Environment Protection Agency, Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service, the Department of Natural Resources and Mines, and the Commonwealth Department of Environment and Heritage. These forums allow Rainforest Bummer the opportunity to assess the level of satisfaction with their involvement in management of the Wet Tropics World Heritage Area, the resolution of specific issues they have raised during the year, the way in which the Wet Tropics Management Authority Board has dealt with issues raised. The 2017 Regional Forum was held on Hirakanji Country and the traditional owner leadership group was established. One of the many outcomes from this forum was to refresh the 2005 Wet Tropics of Queensland Regional Agreement. The 2018 Regional Forum was on Juru Country. This was an opportunity for the new traditional owner leadership group to update rainforest Aboriginal people on their future duties and priorities moving forward. 
In 2019, the regional forum was held on Yudinji country. More than 80 participants attended this forum, along with the original regional agreement signatories. Bummer's connection with the wet tropics region has continued for thousands of years, and for over 30 years, we've been involved in current natural and cultural resource management of the area. In 1991, the Rainforest Aboriginal Network was established by the Wet Tropics Management Authority. This was replaced by Bamwabu, that led to the review into which way our cultural survival. We also had the Rainforest Aboriginal Advisory Committee and the Aboriginal Rainforest Council. One of the recent bodies was the Rainforest Aboriginal Peoples Alliance, commonly known as RAPA. RAPA was the regional leadership group across Rainforest Aboriginal peoples within the Wet Tropics region. Since 2009, RAPA was continuing to advance the regional priorities undertaken since 1992. The RAPA's philosophy was focused on actively supporting the on-ground traditional owner networks. The RAPA membership included the traditional owner groups of the Wet Tropics region. One of RAPA's achievements was conducting the 2010 Natural and Cultural Resource Management Summit. The summit was well attended with more than 40 traditional owners and more than 30 relevant government and non-government agencies. The Aboriginal rainforest people of the wet tropics of Queensland have lived continuously in the rainforest environment for at least 5,000 years. And this is the only place in Australia where Aboriginal people have permanently inhabited a tropical rainforest environment. On the 9th of November 2012, the Wet Tropics World Heritage Area's Indigenous Heritage Values were included as part of the existing Wet Tropics of Queensland National Heritage Listing. This recognises that rainforest Aboriginal heritage is unique to the Wet Tropics and is a remarkable and continuous Indigenous connection with a tropical rainforest environment. The Wet Tropics of Queensland World Heritage Area is considered to have outstanding heritage values to the nation because of these five key criteria. Aboriginal cultural heritage of the Wet Tropics region belongs to rainforest Aboriginal people. It is important that culturally significant places are appropriately managed, protected and presented with the guidance and involvement of rainforest Aboriginal people. There are a lot of achievements that Rainforest Bama have achieved over this journey we need to encourage all Rainforest Bama to join us and carry on this legacy that has been made by our Rainforest Aboriginal Elders and contributed to by others. On behalf of Rainforest Aboriginal Peoples, I would like to congratulate and acknowledge the resilience, effort, work, courage, leadership and deep knowledge of Rainforest Aboriginal Elders and traditional owner groups in achieving these milestones to date. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank all government agencies and non-government agencies involved in our journey. And I would like to give special thanks to the Wet Tropics Management Authority and Terrain NRM. I'm really looking forward to seeing Rainforest Bummer on country. And I hope to see you all at the future regional rainforest forums. Well, which are you, Mob? What do you reckon? We've got a pretty deadly journey there, but you know, it doesn't stop here. We need to encourage all our young bummer to start gaining the knowledge and courage to carry this journey on. All the elders that have come before us have laid the platform and now it's our shared responsibility to make sure the journey continues. Our knowledge of country and our culture is really important to us. We want to revitalise this knowledge Keep it strong and make sure it is passed on to young people.